What does Italian descent, French cuisine, and your backyard all have in common? Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. We've got a guest joining us live that is simply amazing. She's one of our favorites here. Her name is Leslie Segretti. Well, that's the Italian descent part of it. We're about to find out why she has a French culinary degree, and then soon we'll find out about her brand new show coming to A&E. But first, Leslie, welcome to the show. It's great to be with you, Con. Always great to have you back here at Get Connected. Hey, thanks so much for having me. I've got to ask you the uh -oh. question. How does someone with a last name like Segretti, yes. Italian, end up with a French cuisine cooking degree? I already had the degree from Grandma's School of Italian Cooking, so I felt like I should expand my horizons. Well, there you go. <laughs> we all want to know now when we're going to see you in a cooking show. <laughs> Probably never. Are you kidding? I'm always so embarrassed about my cooking, and I'm always you know, saving it for my family and friends, but I do like to experiment, and I have to say that cooking school really sort of widened my horizons of what I would eat. And, you know, now I'll try everything once. And, you know, if I don't like it, I add it to my list of no's. But I, I'm so happy to do cooking school. It was a lot of fun. Well, Leslie, it's been a couple years since we talked. The last time I think we talked, you had just given birth. I think your son's name is Henry. Yes. Well, tell us how Henry's doing. He's almost two, my goodness, and I'm planning his big summer birthday party, and I'm trying to figure out how to make the outdoor space look fantastic for all our family and friends. <laughs> Great segue, yeah. Leslie. And indeed, you're here to tell us about the outdoor living space. You've always had such a great eye. Thank you. And a great way of communicating what we can do to make our backyard so wonderful and a place that we can spend a lot of time. What do you have for us? Well, I think the biggest part where you're going to get your inspiration from is inside your house. You know, you've already got a design style, you know what you like, so look to what you would use indoors and create that same look out of doors. And then look at your space, you know, are you dealing with a terrace? Are you dealing with a super gigantic yard? You know, look at what you've got and then figure out, you know, oh, I really like that tree, I'd love to create a sitting area underneath it, or I've got that pergola but I'm not using it the right way. So look at what's back in your yard or your outdoor space and then decide how you can best use that and create that room around that. Well, Leslie, you brought a lot of femininity to the backyard, and as soon as you mentioned backyard to me, I'm just locked on one thing. Where are we going to put the barbecue? <laughs> the barbecue is a key component of the yard. You know, it's important because when we saw the real estate market booming, people were like, I'm going to spend a ton of money, and I'm going to make this kitchen, and it's going to be amazing, and look at all my fancy things. Well, not so much anymore. So you can really create an outdoor kitchen in a grill. You just have to look at what do I need, how do I like to cook, and how much money do I have to spend? Now, Kenmore's got a great grill. It's got four burners and it's stainless steel. And I like the stainless because it's weather resistant and it looks like the appliances in my kitchen. Now, I love it because I mentioned I'm having a birthday party for my son this coming summer. And we're going to have like 30 people at the house. And the cooktop is huge. I can make 24 burgers at once. Nobody's going to get a cold burger. I'm not going to be running back and forth. If I want to try to sneak a veggie to the kids, I've got a side burner where I can, you know, saute some spinach or make some carrots, whatever it might be. But I can do it all right there and I never have to leave the party. And you know, when you're grilling, it's like, how many dirty plates do you end up with? How many Tupperwares of sauces do you end up with? There's a cabinet underneath so I can store my utensils. I can put all of those dirty things or extras underneath, and I can close it up. I can keep my yard tidy, but I've got a really great grill for less than 350 bucks. Well, those are cool features, but let me just say, it does look manly. It does. It looks manly, but I am certainly not afraid to cook behind it. Uh -huh. You know, Leslie, I want to be one of those 30 invitees. But tell us more, when I look at that barbecue, you said four burners. I mean, that's a really cool feature. Well, it's nice because it gives you a lot of control. And what's nice about the size of the cook area as well, you know, my cousin has a seafood allergy. She can't have any shellfish. So I know I can cook her shrimp, you know, her shrimp. Oh, my God, I'm trying to kill my cousin. I can cook the <laughs> shrimp for everybody on one burner and control the temperature for that. But I can cook a chicken breast for her, you know, super far away, control the temperature for that. So it gives me a lot of versatility into how I'm going to cook, what temperature is needed for certain things. And it really is helpful when you, you know, you're serving for a diverse crowd. Now, Leslie, the old Con, I would just bring a barbecue over to my backyard with some plastic chairs, but tell me how I can have a really nice barbecue but create a surrounding area that's very <laughs> enticing for people to want to hang out. 
bring home some nice furniture for everybody to relax in. You know, I, I think a lot of trouble that people run into when they're designing their outdoor spaces, they say, oh, I like this chair, I'm gonna get it, and don't realize it's wood, and after a couple of years, I'm gonna have to sand it down and scrape it and stain it and paint it, and nobody really wants to maintain things like that. So when you're shopping for outdoor furnishings, look for something that's not only gorgeous, but made to withstand the elements. You wanna look for materials like aluminum or fast drying sling or weather resistant resin that looks like wicker, because you can leave it outside all season long and you're not scrambling if a rain cloud is coming like, oh no, I better get everything in the garage. Now, when you're looking at how you're gonna use that space, that's really gonna determine what type of furniture you buy. So if you're a family that likes to sort of sit around an intimate living room setting, you're gonna look at something like the Country Living Collection, which is made from that weather resistant resin. So it looks like wicker. It's got that rich texture to it, a lot of depth in the coloration of it. Now, the cool feature is the cushions are reversible. So if you want stripes, if you want florals, you can mix and match and create four different looks really on a limited budget. And there are so many options within that collection that you can create a space that's gonna work for your family regardless of your budget or the size of the space you have. So we really like that. And now you and I both love to eat out of doors and we love to entertain. So I always start with the table, chairs, umbrella. Boom, that's my basis for my outdoor dining area. But you know, as the seasons progress, I like to add different pieces and I can go with the Jacqueline Smith Dutch Harbor bar. A bar is great. It doesn't have to be dressed up like a tiki torch. You can keep a beautiful bar, serve your cocktails on it. You've got extra seating for four. You've also got a great buffet top to serve your food. You know, you can keep everything fresh and handy. Plus, there are some shelves on the backside, again, to hide extras. So you're always at the party. You're not leaving your group of friends or your family. So you can truly enjoy the space. Well, Leslie, you've created the perfect area to chillax. Let me check it down the list. We got the barbecue, we got the bar, and a cool lounging area for all my friends. It's like bring on Memorial Day. Well, all we're missing is you <laughs> as the cook. Are you available? I would be happy to. Are you kidding? Bring me over. Well, Leslie, before we talk about your brand new show, you have to tell us, is there anything else in the garden you would recommend us to do? Well, look at your garden. Bring in perennials. Remember, perennials come back year after year, so you're going to spend a little bit more money up front, but next summer you're not going to have to spend it at all. So invest in some nice perennials that are made for your area, so you're not fighting to give them extra water or food because they're not where they belong. You know they'll succeed. You can also add containers, beautiful planters with fresh, nice, vibrant annuals, and that'll give bursts of color. It's super affordable, and you can really dress up all the surrounding parts of your yard. <laughs> I certainly hope that there's an iPhone app out there that will remind me to water those plants. <laughs> yes, water your plants. All right, it's now time to hear about your brand new show. I'm excited to hear about it. Tell us what's going on. You know, it's super timely. It's called $100 Makeover. It's on A&E. It premieres June 19th at 10 a.m. Um, and what's so great about it is we're picking families that have a lot of stuff, a lot of clutter. You know, they're living their lives in their home, and they forget to take care of the house and themselves, and they just have so much stuff. So we help them sort through all the clutter, get down to just the necessities. We donate or recycle everything that they get rid of through 1-800-JUNK. So that's great because we know it's going to a good spot. And then we take what they've got, and we design the rooms around what they already have but didn't know how to use and we truly only use a hundred dollars a room so that goes to paint and random materials we might need to finish the project but it's a lot of fun because we all have clutter and nobody really knows how to sort through it and create a space to live in. Well Leslie you can count me in for watching you it's gonna be great to see you back on the air and it's called a hundred dollar makeover. hundred dollar makeover a hundred bucks per room and we've been doing three to four rooms per house so it's been quite an undertaking but it's been a lot of fun I've got a great team Leslie, it's always great to catch up with you. Congratulations on Henry, and good luck with that big birthday party. But where can we learn more about the items you shared with us today? You know what? Head on over to kmart.com slash outdoor living. I'm here in partnership with them, so I love to share what they've got because they really have a beautiful line of outdoor furnishings that's affordable and gorgeous, and we all need those things to have a happy summer. Well, Leslie, thanks to you. Thanks to Kmart and continued success, and we look forward to tuning in to your new show. Thank you. If you want to learn more about the amazing Leslie Segretti, you can log on to our Get Connected website at contv.com. Now, we know the summer is going to have blockbuster movies, and we'll be talking about those in the weeks to come. But what's going to be the biggest play? And it may be coming to your city, and it's not to be missed. We'll meet the cast when we come back.